For Kyiv forces shoot the bus with civilians at Ukrainian checkpoint around city Volnavaha. As a result, 11 locals killed, 17 locals injured. Same time with this incident, pro Kyiv social media accounts reported about destroying the bus with people's self-defense at checkpoint around Volnavaha. The bus with terrorists destroyed at checkpoint around Volnavaha. 15 killed, 3 captured, reports said. Also, Western media are trying to spread information that people's self-defenses, multiple rocket launcher systems grudge shoot the bus with civilians. This version is ridiculous and criminal. Let's check the facts. So, MRLS, grad of people's self-defense, didn't hit the bus. But Ukrainian army had a lot to shot the bus by small arms. Hashtag I am Vanya campaign in support of Donbass children launched on the Internet. Internet users are outraged by the fact that European authorities are ignoring the population genocide in southeastern Ukraine. The Russian flash mob is devoted to all Donbass children who have been killed and injured. Many Internet users were angered by this double standard policy on the part of European authorities. Social network users post the following tweets. I'm not Shirley, I am Vanya from Burning Donbass. I am Vanya, the world has gone mad. Wake up, people. Donbass children are dying. The campaign is devoted to a real boy Vanya, who is now at the Donetsk hospital. The 80-year boy was seriously injured during the shelling of his hometown of Shakhtarsk. The Ukrainian shell hit the courtyard while Vanya and his six-year-old younger brother were playing there. The brother died at the scene and the Vanya lost both legs, his right arm and his vision. The boy has undergone three operations, but doctors cannot make any specific predictions concerning his future status. Politicians in Europe and the United States cannot tell the difference between the freedom of speech, professionalism and premeditated provocative acts, Russia's State Duma speaker Sergei Narishkin said on Tuesday. Many current European and US politicians are unable to tell real threats of the modern world from false and fictitious and fail to tell the difference between the freedom of speech, professionalism from deliberate provocations, Narishkin said, noting that they are unfortunately typical of using double standards, both in deeds and words. Like in Last tragedy with the bus around Volnavaha, we added. Boko Haram has grown from a small terror group to a mini country with its own territory, which can be compared to gains made by the Islamic State. Boko Haram now controls an area the size of Costa Rica or Slovakia. The militia group's territory now totals about 52,000 square kilometers, according to an estimate released by the Telegraph. One of the latest towns to be captured by the group was Baga in the northeastern Nigerian state of Borno, close to Lake Chad. According to witness estimates, Boko Haram militians killed at least 2,000 people people there, although the Nigerian military later put the figure at 150. Amnesty International said the attack could be the deadliest by the group since it surfaced in 2009. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.